Hi there, Premier Guy here. Thanks for tuning in. In this video, I am going to show you how to use the pen, rectangle and ellipse tool. So, let's open up Premiere Pro. Before we get started, you can download the footage that I am using today, from videvo.net. I'll put the links in the description for you all. We have a sequence with the turtle clip swimming in the ocean. Very cool. Let's go to our toolbar and choose the pen tool, or the keyboard shortcut is P. What is the pen tool? There are multiple ways of using it. The first way, is adjusting the turtle clip volume with keyframes. What are keyframes, you may ask? Well, keyframes allows us to change the properties over time of a video, or audio clip. Let's go ahead and change the audio levels to this clip. Let's go back to our sequence, and on the audio track, we can see a white horizontal line going across the audio source. This is where we are going to add some keyframes, so let's begin. To add keyframes, we are going to just click to where we want them. As we can see, we now have three keyframes to play with. Now let's fade out the sound. To do that, just drag the last keyframe down. We can see that the line is going down, and now we have this fade out effect. Let's check it out. Pretty good hey? Shall we lower the middle keyframe, and see what happens? Just drag it down, and release. Let's check it out. We noticed that it went down completely, and came up again. Keyframes are very powerful, don't you think? We are now going to be changing the opacity of the video clip, but first, let's zoom in, by grabbing the vertical handlebars, and pulling it down. That way we can see what we are doing. Notice that we cannot see the white horizontal line. Well, not a problem. To fix it, we are going to go to, the timeline display settings, and then show video keyframes. Now that we can see the white horizontal line, let's add some keyframes, by clicking on the line. Shall we fade the video in, and out, and back in again? To do this, we need three keyframes. Now drag the middle keyframe all of the way down like this. Let's see the results. Pretty cool effect, right? We can also add some keyframes with the selection tool by holding the command key on Mac and control key on Windows and clicking on the white line. We can also drag the line in between those two keyframes, down and outside of those keyframes, just stay in their original spot. Let us check what we have created. We did a good job. The pen tool also allows us to draw shapes as well. If we want to make curved shapes, you can, by clicking and dragging to make custom shapes. We can also just click, to make a shape without any curves. There is a rectangle tool as well. To gain access to it, go to the toolbar, and click and hold the pen tool and a little pop-up window will come up. From here we can choose the rectangle tool. Let's go to the program monitor, then click and drag to make a square. 
Premiere Pro also has an ellipse tool. To select it, go to the toolbar and click and hold the rectangle tool, a little pop-up window will come up, now choose the ellipse tool. This allows us to make a circle or an oval shape again, by clicking and dragging. You will notice that there is a graphic clip in this sequence. You may be thinking, what the hell is a graphic clip? Well, it's a combination of shapes, pictures and text all in one clip. In the future video, I will explain more in depth. That's it. You have now learned how to use the pen, rectangle and ellipse tool in Premiere Pro. I'll catch you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe.